This is the secret that seamstresses use to thread the needle and never make a mistake. As the years go by, the ability to see is usually lost, causing some tasks such as reading or to become more difficult. Many people try methods such as the palm of the hand to thread the needle, and although this method, on large needles, it is usually a bit difficult when the hole is small. Another commonly used method is that of the toothbrush, but this method only works when the yi of the brush are very small. Today I will teach you two infallible tricks to thread the needle 100% of the time, quickly and, and using only two coins and a soda cap. So if you are one of the many people with problems threading the needle, stay until the end and I, you that it will be worth seeing it. The first thing we will do is take a broom, and with the help of a scissors we will cut two of the threads from the root as I show you on the screen. With this size, it will be more than enough. The next thing we will do is fold one of the threads in half. We will save the other, since we will. It later. At this point, we will take one of the coins and place the folded thread on top as I show you. Then we will use a piece of adhesive tape and glue it to the coin. Next, we will put the other coin on top and with the end of the tape, we join the coins so that are well glued. Do it firmly so that the plastic thread does not come out. Now we are going to use the plastic soda cap. With the help of a knife, we make a small cut in half as I show you on the screen. Do it carefully so that you do not pierce the lid. It should look like this. Now we will take the thread that we had reserved and we will fold it in half as we did with the then we will place it in the cut space of the bottle in the way I am doing it. Once this is done, we have it ready to use. Now I will show you how to use both methods. First, take the needle you want to thread and insert it into the head of the folded thread. Then go through the thread in the middle of the hole in the broom thread and pull the tip. Then you just have to move the needle out and you will notice how it will thread immediately of the size of the needle. This is very convenient for those who have vision problems, as it always works. Now I will show you the second method with the soda cap. As we did in the previous method, take the needle and insert it into the head of the thread. Then go through the thread in the hole and finally pull the tip. As you can see, both methods work perfectly, and you can choose the one that suits you best. From now on, your hand will not shake again when threading the needle. If you got to this part of the video, leave me the words. I already know how to thread it. And if this advice was useful, remember to send it to someone who could help you.